Amidst the chaos that often permeates our daily lives, Stoic philosophy emerges as a provocative challenge, offering a liberating lesson that urges us to reconsider our relationships in critical moments. The central idea proposes that, for personal growth, it is crucial to detach ourselves from certain interpersonal bonds, including those with family and friends. It is important to note that this invitation does not embrace isolation. Instead, it promotes the pursuit of authenticity and the achievement of inner peace. In this context, we will now explore 11 revealing indicators that point to the need to sever ties. By fully absorbing the following content, you will be guided through a profound reflection on aspects of your life that may require adjustments and transformations. 1. When relationships become obstacles to our personal development, they convey a profound message. A friendship that can end was never true. This statement prompts us to ponder the genuine nature of friendship and familial love. Both should be foundations that sustain and guide us in our constant quest for wisdom and virtue. However, it is imperative to recognize that at times, the bonds we maintain can divert us from this path of growth. In delving deeper into the intricacies of emotional connections, it becomes evident that acknowledging their potential to deviate us from our true purpose is a critical revelation. This realization confronts us with the imperative need for deep and sincere reflection, a moment that demands we subject ourselves to incisive questioning and a thorough reassessment of these relationships. While the process of reassessment is far from simple, it necessitates a considerable amount of introspection and often calls for the unwavering courage needed to make complex decisions. It becomes imperative at times to re-examine old ties and question ingrained family dynamics. Even more challenging is the decision to distance ourselves from friendships that, instead of contributing to our enrichment, pull us into a lesser state. As we navigate this delicate journey of self-discovery and growth, it is essential to recognize that the authenticity of our relationships plays a pivotal role. True friendships and familial bonds should serve as pillars of support, fostering an environment conducive to our personal and intellectual evolution. When faced with the choice of preserving superficial connections or embracing the transformative power of genuine relationships, it becomes clear that the latter is the path that leads us towards fulfillment and self-actualization. In conclusion, the recognition that some relationships can hinder our personal development underscores the importance of discernment and courage in our journey towards growth. By engaging in a process of thoughtful reassessment, we can ensure that our connections align with our true purpose, allowing us to cultivate meaningful bonds that contribute positively to our lives. This journey of reassessment constitutes a process of profound self-discovery and, above all, self-appreciation. The epicenter of this challenge lies in the insightful understanding that personal growth is intrinsically linked to the people we choose to share our journey with. Healthy and constructive relationships reveal themselves as those that inspire us to surpass limits, challenge us constructively, and above all, respect our essence and life goals. Expanding this perspective, it is crucial to emphasize that the reassessment of emotional connections not only promotes individual transformation, but also provides a more conducive environment for the flourishing of latent potentials. By distancing ourselves from toxic relationships, we open up space for new opportunities for growth and the construction of more uplifting bonds. Consequently, the journey of emotional reassessment is not only an act of preserving the inner self, but also an investment in building a network of relationships that foster continuous evolution. By recognizing the importance of choosing our journey companions discerningly, we are indeed laying the foundations for a fuller and more meaningful life. Therefore, emotional reassessment should not be seen as an isolated challenge, but as a continuous process of selecting and cultivating relationships that truly contribute to our development and well-being. Thus, when faced with relationships that seem to hinder our progress, it is crucial to remember the wisdom of Seneca. We must seek authentic connections that withstand the test of time and adversity, supporting us in our quest for wisdom, and more importantly, walking alongside us toward virtue. This is a path filled with discoveries, challenges, and often necessary renewals. 2. When harmful emotions begin to dominate a relationship, encroaching into the territory of destructive emotions that can take control, it is opportune to reflect on the words of Marcus Aurelius, a prominent representative of Stoicism. He guides us with great wisdom, stating, You have power over your mind, not external events. 
Realize this and you will find strength. This quote underscores the importance of maintaining control over our emotions and thoughts, especially in relationships permeated by feelings such as anger, jealousy, or resentment. When immersed in persistent and prevailing negative emotions in our relationships, we risk distancing ourselves from our true inner strength. These emotions have the power to trap us in a vicious cycle of automatic reactions to situations often beyond our control. Anger, jealousy and resentment, while natural human experiences, can divert us from the path of self-control and serenity, compromising our ability to deal constructively with interpersonal challenges. The significant challenge lies in recognizing these harmful emotions and understanding that our response to them is under our control, a wisdom echoing the words of Marcus Aurelius. While we may not have the power to control external events, we have full mastery over how we choose to react to these events. This process demands a constant exercise of self-analysis and self-control, crucial skills for preserving mental and emotional health in the midst of challenging relationships. Furthermore, it is worthwhile to explore practical strategies to transform these negative emotions into opportunities for personal growth. The development of emotional intelligence, for example, can provide valuable tools to understand and effectively manage emotions, promoting a more balanced response to adversities. Additionally, understanding the origins of these negative emotions can shed light on thought and behavior patterns that need to be revised. Positive psychology, for instance, offers approaches to cultivate a more optimistic and constructive mindset, aiding in the transformation of harmful thinking patterns. Moreover, practicing mindfulness and meditation techniques can be incorporated as effective tools to cultivate mindfulness and the ability to respond more balancedly to intense emotional stimuli. These practices provide moments of pause and reflection, allowing us to choose conscious responses instead of impulsive reactions. Therefore, by recognizing the complexity of negative emotions in relationships and adopting multifaceted approaches for their management, we are strengthening not only our emotional resilience, but also promoting a healthier environment for the evolution and deepening of interpersonal relationships. When we realize that a relationship often leads us to negative emotional states, it is crucial to analyze the dynamics of that relationship. We must question whether it positively contributes to our well-being and growth or keeps us constantly emotionally agitated. Ultimately, when confronting destructive emotions in our relationships, it is essential to seek the inner strength mentioned by Marcus Aurelius. This involves practicing patience, understanding and empathy, while establishing healthy boundaries and, if necessary, distancing ourselves from relationships that hinder the realization of our full emotional and intellectual potential. It is a journey of self-discovery and personal empowerment, where we learn to value relationships that uplift us and distance ourselves from those that harm us. 3. If you find yourself in a situation of manipulation or control in interpersonal relationships, it is crucial to address this issue considering the stoic perspective on autonomy highlighted by Epicurus, a prominent philosopher of this school of thought. He guides us with the impactful phrase, no one is free who is not master of oneself. This expression encapsulates the essence of individual freedom and self-governance, crucial elements for well-being and personal development. Manipulation and control in any type of relationship are clear indicators that autonomy is being compromised. This occurs when we find ourselves in a dynamic where our decisions, thoughts and actions are constantly influenced or dictated by another person. Such a scenario represents a serious violation of our personal freedom, contradicting the principles of Stoicism, which value self-mastery and the independence of the individual. It is imperative to recognize the signs of a manipulative or controlling relationship, which can manifest in various ways. Constant criticism, diminished self-esteem, isolation from friends and family, or even the imposition of decisions without considering others' opinions. These behaviors not only undermine self-confidence, but also trap the individual in a cycle of emotional and psychological dependence. Being aware of being in a relationship that restricts personal autonomy is the first step to liberation. Epicurus reminds us that true freedom comes from being master of oneself. This involves taking control of one's own life, establishing healthy boundaries, and if necessary, ending relationships that deprive us of essential freedom. Deciding to end a manipulative relationship can be challenging and even painful, but it is an act of courage and a crucial step to regain control of one's own life. 
This process of liberation represents a journey of self-discovery, self-assertion, and above all, reaffirmation of one's own worth and independence. In short, recognizing and distancing ourselves from relationships that manipulate or control us is an act of deep self-respect. Following Epictetus's advice, we must strive to be masters of our own lives, cultivating relationships that respect our autonomy and allow us to flourish to our fullest potential. 4. When a relationship causes more harm than benefits, in exploring the dynamics of relationships that have negative impacts, it is crucial to emphasize the importance of inner well-being in each individual journey. Toxic relationships, characterized by energy drainage, constant emotional discomfort, and a negative environment, go against the concept of personal growth and development. In this context, it is essential to understand that the ongoing presence of tension, unresolved conflicts, mutual disrespect and lack of emotional support are indicators of a harmful relationship. These dynamics not only hinder personal flourishing, but can also result in declines in mental and physical health. Toxicity in a relationship often manifests in various ways, including constant criticism, lack of empathy, manipulation, or even emotional abuse. These situations create a vicious cycle of negativity, where the person feels trapped and unable to progress in their personal or professional life. The pursuit of inner well-being demands an environment that promotes positivity, mutual support, respect, and above all preserves mental and emotional health. When a relationship becomes an obstacle to achieving these aspects, it is a clear sign that changes are necessary. Choosing to distance oneself from a toxic relationship is an act of self-care and self-respect. While this decision may be challenging and accompanied by feelings of guilt or fear, it represents a crucial step to make room for healthy and constructive relationships that genuinely contribute to growth and well-being. The process of disengaging from a harmful relationship is also a moment of reflection and learning. It is an opportunity to strengthen self-esteem, reaffirm values and priorities, and gain a deeper understanding of the type of relationship that positively contributes to the journey of life. Therefore, it is essential to be attentive to the signs of a toxic relationship and have the courage to seek changes when necessary. After all, the pursuit of inner well-being and personal growth should be a priority in our lives, and the relationships we cultivate play a crucial role in this process. 5. In the absence of mutual respect, the importance of respect in interpersonal relationships becomes crucial, especially in light of stoic principles that emphasize dignity and self-control. Relationships devoid of mutual respect are not in harmony with these values and can result in an environment marked by misunderstanding, devaluation, and constant tension. Respect acts as the foundation for building healthy relationships, including appreciation of differences, the ability to listen and understand the other person's perspective, and the practice of empathy and consideration. In relationships lacking mutual respect, communication deteriorates, conflicts intensify and harmony disappears. Relationships deprived of mutual respect often manifest through contempt, destructive criticism, disregard for the needs and feelings of others, and even abusive behaviors. These attitudes not only erode the relationship, but also profoundly affect the self-esteem and emotional well-being of those involved. Stoic teachings emphasize the importance of maintaining dignity and self-control in all interactions, which implies treating others with the same consideration and respect we desire for ourselves. When a relationship lacks this fundamental element, it becomes harmful and distorted. Faced with a dynamic where mutual respect is absent, it is crucial to evaluate the relationship and consider the necessary changes to restore a healthy balance. This may involve open dialogue, establishing clear boundaries, and in some cases, distancing oneself, especially if the lack of respect is a recurring and irreparable pattern. Recognizing the absence of respect in a relationship and taking steps to correct or distance oneself from it is an essential step to preserve one's own dignity and mental health. Choosing relationships based on mutual respect is ultimately choosing a path of self-esteem and personal growth aligned with stoic ideals of dignity and self-control. 6. When a relationship hinders the acceptance of reality, the stoic approach strongly emphasizes the acceptance of reality. This concept also applies to interpersonal relationships. Relationships that bind us to illusions or promote the denial of reality 
are counterproductive and can be extremely harmful. In Stoic philosophy, accepting reality does not imply passivity or resignation, but rather a clear and objective understanding of the world as it is, free from false expectations or idealizations. Applying the principle of authenticity to our relationships makes it evident that maintaining bonds based on illusions or the denial of facts prevents us from living authentically and truthfully. Relationships that encourage us to ignore the truth, whether through fantasies, constant excuses for unacceptable behavior, or the creation of an alternative reality, distance us from a genuine understanding of ourselves and others. This detachment from reality can lead us to neglect serious issues, make decisions based on distorted perceptions, and live in a constant state of disillusionment. Such relationships may be characterized by unfulfilled promises, unrealistic expectations, or even refusal to acknowledge obvious problems. These situations create fertile ground for frustration and dissatisfaction as we are constantly seeking something that is not aligned with reality. The importance of facing the truth in our relationships goes beyond mere acceptance of reality. It encompasses the need to cultivate an environment where open and honest communication is valued. Relationships based on illusions can generate a cycle of misunderstandings where lack of transparency leads to misinterpretations and unmet expectations. Therefore, to strengthen authenticity in our interpersonal bonds, it is crucial to develop effective communication skills and practices that promote mutual understanding. Creating a space where truths can be expressed freely allows for individual and mutual growth, contributing to healthier and more balanced relationships. Additionally, awareness of behavior patterns that fuel illusions in relationships is a fundamental step toward positive change. This involves closely examining existing dynamics, identifying possible evasions from reality, and, if necessary, seeking professional support for guidance and counseling. By confronting the truth in our relationships, we empower ourselves to make informed decisions, build more authentic connections, and cultivate an environment of mutual growth. Ultimately, the pursuit of authenticity in relationships is not just a journey toward genuine understanding, but also a path to flourishing and lasting satisfaction. Facing the truth in a relationship can be challenging, especially when it means unraveling illusions to which we are attached. However, it is a necessary step for personal development and for building healthier and more realistic relationships. The Stoics encourage us to embrace reality, deal with situations as they are, and seek serenity within that understanding. Therefore, it is crucial to be aware of signs that a relationship is more based on illusions than on reality. Recognizing and distancing ourselves from these dynamics allows us to find our way back to a more authentic and satisfying life, aligned with stoic principles of acceptance and clear understanding of reality. Don't forget to leave your comment to help this content reach more people. Feel free to like and subscribe to continue receiving content that will aid in your mental growth. Let's continue. 7. If you are compromising your values, living in harmony with one's values is a central aspect of stoicism and a foundation for a fulfilling and meaningful life. When we find ourselves in relationships that force us to compromise or betray our core values, we face a crucial dilemma that deserves careful reflection and reassessment. Personal values act as an internal compass, guiding our decisions, actions and interactions with the world around us. They reflect our deepest beliefs and what we consider important and true. Encountering a relationship that prompts us to abandon or ignore our fundamental values not only compromises our personal integrity, but can also trigger a profound sense of dissatisfaction and discomfort. The demand to betray our values can manifest in various ways, from being pressured to act contrary to what we believe is right to tolerating unacceptable behaviors, or, in extreme cases, sacrificing essential aspects of our identity. While these concessions may seem insignificant at first, over time they accumulate significant weight, negatively impacting our self-esteem and sense of self-respect. Stoic philosophy, with its timeless principles, guides us on the importance of living in harmony with our values. This teaching underscores the need to have the courage to make difficult choices, distance ourselves from situations that deviate from our path, and seek relationships that respect and reflect our most fundamental principles. Embracing this perspective, we recognize that the quality of our relationships is intrinsically linked to coherence with our deepest values. 
Re-evaluating a relationship based on its harmony with our values is not an easy task. This process involves internal conflicts, complex feelings of loyalty, fear of loneliness, and apprehension about change. However, it is crucial to understand that the pursuit of alignment with our values is not just an act of self-preservation, but also a courageous affirmation of our authenticity. It is important to acknowledge that by choosing relationships that respect our core values, we are building solid foundations for lasting happiness. This journey of reassessment can be enriching, providing opportunities for personal growth, strengthening self-confidence and fostering the creation of more authentic connections. Furthermore, Stoic philosophy offers valuable principles for dealing with the emotional challenges associated with these decisions. Developing emotional resilience and the ability to confront fundamental fears, such as the fear of loneliness or change, are essential elements to navigate this path with firmness and determination. Ultimately, by embracing Stoic philosophy in our relationships, we are not only honoring our values, but also constructing a path to more authentic, satisfying relationships aligned with who we truly are. However, remaining true to our values is essential for mental and emotional health, signaling self-respect and authenticity. Therefore, it is crucial to be aware of how our relationships influence and reflect our values. When we realize that we are compromising our core values, we must seriously consider whether this relationship is beneficial for our personal growth and well-being. Choosing paths aligned with our values is not only a stoic principle, but also a vital step toward living a truly authentic and fulfilling life. 8. When the relationship is not reciprocal, reciprocity in a relationship is a key factor for its health and sustainability. An imbalance, where one party constantly gives while the other constantly receives, creates a scenario of inequality that can be harmful and unsustainable in the long run. Balanced relationships are those in which both parties contribute and receive fairly and equitably. This exchange doesn't always need to be exact or immediate, but there should be a general sense of mutual support. In the intricate tapestry of relationships, reciprocity acts as a cornerstone for harmony and longevity. The dynamic interplay of giving and receiving fosters a sense of equality and shared responsibility, contributing to the overall well-being of the connection. However, when one side consistently occupies the role of the giver, while the other remains in the position of the receiver, an unequal dynamic emerges, potentially leading to detrimental consequences. The implications of an imbalanced relationship extend beyond the surface, permeating into the emotional fabric of the individuals involved. Feelings of resentment may fester in the giver, who experiences a sense of exhaustion from continually pouring energy into the relationship without receiving reciprocal support. Simultaneously, the receiver may unintentionally devalue the contributions of the giver, creating a disconnect in understanding and appreciation. This unilateral relationship can manifest in various aspects, be it emotional or practical. In emotional terms, one person may find themselves consistently providing support, empathy and understanding, while the other seldom reciprocates. This emotional inequity can create a sense of isolation for the giver, who may yearn for a reciprocal exchange of feelings and support. Practical imbalances are equally impactful, whether it involves the distribution of daily tasks or the making of important decisions. When one partner shoulders the majority of responsibilities without commensurate contributions from the other, it can lead to a breakdown in the equilibrium of the relationship. To address such imbalances, open and honest communication becomes paramount. Partners should engage in constructive dialogues to express their needs, expectations and feelings. This process allows for a renegotiation of roles and responsibilities, fostering a more equitable exchange within the relationship. In conclusion, recognizing and rectifying imbalances in reciprocity is crucial for maintaining a healthy and sustainable relationship. By fostering a culture of mutual support and understanding, couples can navigate the complexities of emotional and practical aspects, ensuring that both parties contribute to the relationship's growth and well-being. A reciprocal foundation not only fortifies the connection, but also cultivates an environment where each individual feels valued and appreciated. When the imbalance becomes the norm, the relationship ceases to be a partnership and becomes a burden for one of the parties. It's important to recognize the signs of a non-reciprocal relationship and address the issue. This may involve open conversations about needs and expectations, 
redefining boundaries and responsibilities, and in some cases reconsidering the long-term viability of the relationship. In this context, it's crucial to remember that self-esteem and self-respect are also at stake. Allowing oneself to constantly be in a position of giving without receiving due value and consideration can erode one's own sense of worth. Therefore, seeking balance in a relationship is not just a matter of justice, but also an act of self-care. To maintain healthy and enriching relationships, it's essential to seek reciprocity. Balanced relationships promote mutual growth, respect, and satisfaction for both parties. These are the types of relationships we should aspire to cultivate in our lives, both for our well-being and that of those we relate to. If you're enjoying this, don't miss the opportunity to get the ebook now. Stoicism in the 21st Century – Ancient Strategies for Modern Challenges Unlock your prosperity, abundance, and improve your relationships with this ebook. Link in the pinned comment. 9. If there is any form of abuse, abuse in any of its forms is absolutely unacceptable in any relationship. Stoic wisdom, which emphasizes the importance of self-respect and dignity, clearly guides us to never tolerate abusive or harmful behaviors. Abuse can manifest in various ways – physical, emotional, verbal, psychological, or even financial – Regardless of its form, it has a profoundly negative impact on the mental, physical and emotional health of the person experiencing it. In understanding the Stoic perspective on relationships, it becomes evident that the fundamental tenets of Stoicism, such as self-respect and the pursuit of virtue, directly oppose the presence of abuse. Stoicism encourages individuals to uphold their dignity and intrinsic worth, recognizing that compromise in these areas is incompatible with the stoic ideal of a virtuous life. Abusive relationships are characterized by a pattern of control, intimidation, isolation, and fear, all of which go against stoic philosophy, teaching us to value and respect ourselves. This stark misalignment with stoic principles raises a critical question. How can one adhere to the stoic notion of a virtuous life while subjected to an environment that erodes self-worth and integrity? Being in an abusive relationship means being in an environment that constantly devalues and dehumanizes, a situation completely contrary to what the Stoics would consider a virtuous and dignified life. Stoicism, with its emphasis on personal responsibility and the cultivation of inner strength, offers a compelling argument for individuals to recognize the toxicity of abusive relationships and take decisive action to preserve their well-being. Moreover, Stoic teachings encourage individuals to cultivate resilience in the face of adversity. Recognizing the negative impact of abuse on mental, physical and emotional health, Stoicism provides a philosophical framework for individuals to muster the courage needed to break free from harmful relationships. It urges a shift in focus from external circumstances to internal strength, empowering individuals to reclaim control over their lives and pursue a path aligned with Stoic virtues. In conclusion, the Stoic perspective on abusive relationships is unequivocal. Abuse in any form is incompatible with the principles of self-respect, dignity, and virtue. Stoicism not only underscores the importance of recognizing one's intrinsic worth, but also advocates for the courage to extricate oneself from environments that undermine well-being. By aligning with Stoic principles, individuals can navigate the challenging terrain of abusive relationships, fostering a commitment to personal growth resilience, and the pursuit of a virtuous life. Recognizing that you are in an abusive relationship is the first step to seeking help and change. It's crucial to understand that abuse is never justifiable and the responsibility for the abuse lies entirely with the aggressor, not the victim. Seeking support, whether from friends, family or professionals, is essential to get out of this situation. Leaving an abusive relationship can be challenging and requires courage and support, but it is a vital step to regain self-esteem, self-respect, and freedom. The journey of recovering from an abusive relationship is also a journey of reaffirming one's own value and strength. Therefore, it's essential to be aware of the signs of abuse and take immediate steps to protect oneself, aligning with stoic teachings of self-value and self-respect. 10. When communication consistently fails, effective communication is a vital element in any healthy relationship, when faced with situations where communication consistently breaks down, whether unilaterally or continuously conflict-ridden, 
we encounter a serious obstacle to harmony and mutual understanding, essential elements according to Stoic philosophy. In a relationship where communication is deficient, misunderstandings, frustrations and resentments can often arise, creating an environment conducive to imbalance and disconnection. Unilateral communication, where one party dominates the conversation or does not allow space for the other to express themselves, can result in harmful imbalances. Similarly, communication marked by constant conflicts and an inability to reach consensus can become exhausting and draining, undermining the quality of the relationship. The Stoics, with their philosophy centered on harmony and balance, offer valuable insights into how to enhance communication in relationships. They advocate for the idea of seeking understanding and peaceful dialogue, avoiding unnecessary conflicts, and promoting an environment of mutual respect. To incorporate these principles into improving communication in a relationship, it is essential to practice active listening, express oneself clearly and respectfully, and be open to dialogue and understanding the other person's perspective. The practice of active listening is a crucial skill that involves not only hearing the words, but also understanding the underlying emotions and feelings of the partner. This creates a solid foundation for deeper and more authentic communication. Additionally, the clear and respectful expression of feelings, thoughts and needs is essential to avoid misunderstandings and promote transparency. Being open to dialogue and understanding the other person's perspective is a fundamental posture for building communication bridges. This includes a willingness to openly discuss issues, share feelings and needs, and work together to find constructive solutions. Creating a safe space to express thoughts and emotions contributes to the development of more effective communication and strengthens the emotional connection between the parties. Thus, by adopting stoic principles and incorporating effective communication practices, relationships can flourish in an environment of mutual understanding, respect and collaboration. The pursuit of harmony and balance, both internally and in interpersonal relationships, is a valuable journey that contributes to building stronger and more satisfying bonds. When communication consistently fails and efforts to improve it are unsuccessful, it may be necessary to reassess the relationship. In some cases, seeking the help of a professional such as a couple's therapist or counsellor can be essential. Maintaining healthy and effective communication is crucial to overcoming these communication barriers. Therefore, sustaining healthy and effective communication is fundamental to the health and longevity of any relationship. This is a crucial aspect not only for individual well-being, but also for building harmonious and enriching relationships aligned with stoic teachings of balance and mutual understanding. 11. If the relationship disturbs your tranquility, serenity and inner peace are fundamental goals in stoic philosophy, and their preservation is essential for a balanced and satisfying life. When we find ourselves in relationships that consistently disturb our inner peace, it is a clear sign that these relationships need to be carefully questioned and, if necessary, reassessed or even terminated. In delving deeper into the Stoic philosophy, it becomes evident that the pursuit of tranquility is intricately woven into the fabric of a fulfilling life. The Stoics believed in the importance of maintaining emotional equilibrium, emphasizing the need to navigate life's challenges with a sense of calm and resilience. However, when a relationship becomes a persistent source of disturbance, it not only challenges the Stoic principle of serenity, but also calls for a closer examination of the dynamics at play. Stoic philosophy offers valuable guidance on the importance of emotional balance and the significance of maintaining inner calm, even in the face of challenging external circumstances. It underscores the idea that external events are beyond our control, but our reactions and responses are within our grasp. Therefore, relationships that perpetuate continuous internal turbulence, whether through constant conflicts, anxiety, stress or insecurity, are inconsistent with the Stoic ideal. When confronted with such relational challenges, the Stoic approach encourages a thoughtful examination of whether these connections align with the pursuit of a tranquil and balanced life. The act of questioning and reassessing relationships becomes a proactive step in preserving one's inner peace. It is a realization that, in order to adhere to Stoic principles, it may be necessary to make difficult decisions, including the possibility of terminating relationships that consistently disrupt emotional well-being. The impact of relationships that compromise serenity extends beyond just mental discomfort. 
It significantly influences our overall well-being and hinders our ability to fully enjoy life. Chronic emotional distress can create a barrier to engaging in activities that we consider meaningful, thereby limiting our capacity for personal growth and fulfillment. In conclusion, the Stoic perspective on tranquility emphasizes the importance of discerning relationships that align with these principles. The journey towards a balanced and satisfying life involves not only understanding Stoic philosophy, but also actively applying its teachings to our interpersonal connections. By carefully questioning and reassessing relationships that disrupt our inner peace, we can move closer to the Stoic ideal of serenity and create a foundation for a more meaningful and resilient life. In this context, it is crucial to assess the impact of the relationship on our well-being. This includes a deep reflection on how the relationship emotionally affects us, whether there is a persistent pattern of negativity that cannot be resolved, and if efforts to improve the relationship dynamics have been fruitless. The decision to end a relationship is never easy, especially when deep feelings are involved. However, Stoic philosophy encourages us to make decisions aligned with our well-being and inner peace. It is crucial to recognize that seeking serenity is not an act of selfishness, but rather a crucial step for self-preservation and living according to our higher principles. When faced with relationships that consistently disturb our tranquility, it is necessary to have the courage to make difficult choices for the sake of inner peace and balance. This often involves recognizing when it is necessary to distance ourselves from relationships that are harmful to our emotional well-being. Additionally, Stoic philosophy invites us to cultivate emotional resilience in the face of adversity. This includes developing the ability to accept what is beyond our control and focusing our efforts on what we can influence. By internalizing these Stoic principles, we can strengthen our ability to make tough decisions regarding relationships while maintaining a balanced perspective aligned with our fundamental values. Therefore, by applying Stoic teachings to our understanding and approach to relationships, we can not only seek serenity, but also promote a healthier environment for our personal growth and emotional well-being. Reflecting on the depth and wisdom of Epictetus's words, the first and greatest victory is to conquer. By understanding that the end of a relationship is not a failure, but a courageous step toward authenticity and personal wisdom, this journey, although challenging, is an opportunity for growth and the reaffirmation of our higher values and principles. Remember that every choice we make, especially those that lead us to end harmful situations, is an act of courage and profound self-respect. Embracing this stoic journey not only protects our well-being, but also opens us up to a more virtuous and satisfying life. So, if you enjoyed our content, subscribe, enable notifications, and be part of our community. This is just the beginning of an incredible journey of self-discovery and growth. I look forward to sharing more with you and continuing our joint pursuit of a richer and more meaningful life. See you in the next video.